down and make it happy. so hard to bear, you give me fever, when you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight, fever in the morning, fever all through the night, sun lights up the day. What are you doing? Nothing, why? You didn't peek. Don't be silly, come on, get in. I'm going to treat you right, you get the fever. When you kiss me, is the door shut? Yeah. What's the matter? You angry? After all, we've been driving for a long time, you know. What's eating you? Who, me? Yes, who do you think I mean? Why the sad look? Sorry, no? Well, I just stopped to have the motor checked. There's a rattle I don't like. There's a rattle and she's overheating. Could be the fan belt. Dr. Motor? Looks all right. It's not your fan belt. Shall I check the oil? Yeah, go ahead. Do you want a drink? Why, yes, I'd love one. Well, go right ahead. There's a bar outside. Go with me. The mechanical manager, all right? Yes, but I want him to show me what's wrong. No, thanks. I don't need a handout. Want me to bring you a drink? No, no. Just let it go for now. It's not very important. And furthermore, I've got to take care of an important matter. Uh, but do me a favor, will you? When that girl returns from the bar, tell her I'll be back. All right. And give her this suitcase, will you? Here, thank you.
Come? Ciao, ma non siete ancora partiti? Buongiorno. Papà è partito. Io non ho ancora male. E perché? Visti i risultati del primo mese, io ho parlato chiaro e netto al padre. Se il ragazzo mi si distrae anche per una sola settimana, io non mi prendo più nessuna responsabilità. Ah, sì, sì, capisco. Ma la zia c'è? È andata stamane a Fornovo. Ma torna stasera? Sì, sì, certo. Scusi un momento. È andata a licenziare il fattore perché... Ah, era ora. Ma sei sicuro che torna? Oh, sì, sì, senz'altro. Magari un po' tardi, ma stasera torna di sicuro. Vabbè, vabbè, ciao. Scusi, eh. Prego. Tuo fratello? Sì. Oh, oh, scusi, non glielo ho presentato. Oh, non fa niente. Ero convinto che lei lo conoscesse così, non ho pensato a... <ride> Andiamo avanti. Scusi. Qua, amici, supremo un tempo, in urbe fuit. Permesso? Sì. C'è un sacco di posta per te. Chi è? Tino. Salutissimi da Vauclabruck, Austria. Ah. Orfanotrofio Antoniano. E che vuole da me l'orfanotrofio? Segnare con una crocetta la grazia che si desidera. Per il benessere familiare, lavoro e salario, buon matrimonio, santa morte, per il Papa, per la patria, per la pace del mondo. Conto corrente postale. Di che lo stili. Sì, che gli levi il pulso di naftalina. Tu dove la metteresti la crocetta? Per la patria. <ride> Ho anche questo. Il resto sono reclami di medicinali. Butta via. Chi parla? C'è Gigi, per favore? Fainardi, grazie. Gigi? Marcello, sono arrivato mezz'ora fa. Non hai avuto il telegramma? Allora che fai? Vieni su con me? Ma sì, domattina, sul presto. Ah, no, aspetta. Bisogna che torni mia zia, sono rimasto senza una lira. Ah, va bene, comunque io ti telefono prima di partire. Sì, ciao. Ciao. Ale, porta via tutto, abbassa le taparelle e lasciami dormire. Hello? Who? Mark Curie. No, this is the Fenardi residence. Fenardi. No, signorina, you have the wrong number. Sorry. Hello? You have the wrong number again, signorina. Yes, this is 42116. I understand my curie, but there's no one here by that name. No, signorina, we've always had the same number. Beg your pardon? On this street? No. There is no Marchiori. Our next door neighbors are the Agapistos and Lucia, door. we're not running an information bureau, so hang up for Pete's sake. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm terribly sorry. No, signorina. Goodbye. That's quite all right. Goodbye. Who was it? Another girl with a wrong number. So what? You have to give them the family history? She was crying. Uh, well, I'm going to put the car in the garage. Why? Why was she crying? How do I know why she was crying? She was crying. If your brother thinks he's so smart, why doesn't he answer the phone? Hold on a second so I can turn on the light. You got it? Yeah. There. Now, who's that? Well, it can't be Aunt Marta. Hold it.
Lucha. Lucha, don't bother. We'll answer the doorbell. What's going on? Listen, there's a woman down there. You go talk to her. Tell her I'm not around. No, tell her I don't live here, that you don't know me. Tell her anything you want, but get rid of her. But who is it? Oh, you don't have to worry about her. She's an idiot. Whatever you say will be fine. She'll believe anything. Is she the one who phoned? That's right. I wonder how that lame brain ever managed to find me. Go on. Go on. Hurry. But, Marcello, I don't know what to tell her. Tell her you never heard of me. Go on. Well, go on. I'll give you a thousand lira. know me. Let me introduce myself. You see, I'm from National Accident Insurance, a well-known company, and they sent me down here from Milan. I know this is a funny time to make a business call, but do you have a gray Aurelia convertible? No. You don't? We don't have it anymore. We sold the Aurelia two months ago. Who to? Well, I really don't know. You see, it was my father who sold it. And my father isn't home now. He's not even in Parma. There's no one here by the name of Marchiori? Ma Marchiori? Marcello Marchiori. Oh, no. No, this house is where we live. We're the Fernandes. Listen, it's very, very important to me. So please, does Marcello Marchiori live here or doesn't he? No. You swear? Why, yes, I, I swear. Of all the rotten luck, what am I going to do now? That filthy double cross, the rat. What did I ever do to him anyway? That sheep, no good tramp. Excuse me, but if you only knew... But, but you... you've never even heard of him? Who? Mark Well, You've certainly seen him if he bought your father's car. He's husky with light brown hair. I'll show you. I've got his picture. Here. Here it is. Take a look at it. I'm terrible on this one, so don't look at me. There he is. Do you know the man? No. No, I don't know him. No. It doesn't matter. Don't you worry, I'll catch up with him. Wait, he'll see. I'll find him no matter where he's hiding. Because no man ever treated me that way and he won't get away with it. Can I find a hotel downtown? Yes, there are lots of them. How do I get there? Well, it's pretty far. Maybe you should take a streetcar. Go straight to the station. You'll get there in a quarter of an hour. Thank you.
Wait a second. Let me help you. It's very heavy. Oh, that doesn't matter. Thanks. You know, I'm not an insurance agent. No. My name's Aida. Lorenzo Fenari. Pleased to meet you. Hello? Yes? Yes, Venardi. The young man? Which one? Ah, Lorenzo. And whom shall I say it? Uh, pardon? One moment. Lorenzo? Lorenzo? Yes, Aunt Martha? Telephone. Hold the wire. Who is it? I don't know. Somebody by the name of Aida Zaponi. Zaponi. This is Lorenzo speaking. Who is this, Aida? Excuse me a minute. She's the sister of a friend of mine at school. Oh. Hello? Excuse the interruption. Yes? Mm-hmm. Beg pardon? But that's impossible. Well, you can tell me now it's the same thing, isn't it? No, what I meant was, if it's for the same thing you asked me about last night, well, I... Then what is it? Come in. Come in, I said. Lorenzo Fainardi. Just a minute. Hello. How are you? Fine. And you? Fine. Come in. Excuse me, I look a mess, but... I was putting a little white on my prettiest shoes. I simply hate shoe white. Don't you? I always get it all over me, so I try to use my toothbrush. But I used red toothpaste, so the shoes turned out all red. Sit down. Thank you. Would you like a breakfast roll? They're real fresh. Uh, no, thank you. I've already... Had... What difference does that make? Come on, take one. Well, all right. Thanks. I phoned you because that low-down tramp, Macchiori, left me in a sort of tough spot. I'm a little short, so I wanted to ask you. If it doesn't put you out, of course. If you'd be interested in this. What is it? Go ahead, take a look. Open it. It's a very neat little travel iron. I've only used it two or three times. It's almost new. See, with this little transformer, you can use it anywhere. What's the current in this place, the voltage? I... I don't know. All you do is turn this button, see? It's simple. You're not interested. Well, uh... If you're not interested, forget it. I'm not that hard up after all. But if I'm going to stay here a few days... 
And I won't leave before I found that tramp. It means I've got to have a little money, 5,000 lira or so. Or even 4,000. Too much? No, not at all. See, this is what I thought. You could give your mother a nice present. Well, the case is in real leather, and you could put a nice little card in it. Well, it'll look like it came right out of the store. That's impossible. Excuse me. I should have known. I'm sorry. Oh, how could you know? You couldn't guess. But you can always tell when someone's lost his mother. Forgive me. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry about me. I'll manage. I've written to the family. I've asked them to wire me some money. It won't take long. You better go. You'll be late to school. Oh, gee, that's right. So long. So long. Ciao. Ciao. invece si chiama corona la superficie compresa fra due circonferenze concentriche due circonferenze eh, concentriche cioè appartenenti a circoli che hanno in comune che cosa il centro hm? E il diseguale? Il raggio. Insomma, una ciambella. La stai fare una ciambella col buco? Sì, vabbè. Comunque. Fammi vedere la corona. Mm. Here it is. You see? That is the annulus. See? But not much use in our trying to work anymore because it's late. And besides, this morning your mind seems to be wandering. Oh, hmm? no, Father. Hmm? All right. Well, when's the next time we meet, my boy? Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, but Tuesday's the sixth. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, listen, I'm including the ten lessons of the first semester, huh? Here. Give it to your aunt. And tell her to check the figures. I'm not so good at arithmetic. Oh, before you go, take down a few equations for Tuesday. You ready? Father. Well? What do you want from the father? I want to ask a question. If a relative does something bad, are you responsible? <laughs> That's another kind of algebra. But what relative? Well, a brother, for instance. If you find out your brother has done something very wrong to somebody, you're supposed to right that wrong, aren't you? Uh, this hypothetical brother, is he younger or an older brother? Older. Is a woman involved? Yes. <laughs> In the first place, we'd have to establish whether the younger brother is actually qualified to judge if some real wrong was committed. Oh, but it was a real wrong, Father. Yes, it was even worse. It was something awful. Can't even find a word for it. Just forget about it, Lorenzo. But that's impossible. Listen to me. Just let the matter drop, huh? Don't you worry about such problems. Let's just stick to mathematics, shall we? It's much less complicated, believe me, Lorenzo. So what do you say we're right? You ready? All right. X squared plus 2XY. Your gloves, signora. Thank you, Lucia. You'll take care of everything, won't you? Yes, signora.
What are you doing, Lorenzo? Coming with me? No, I'd just be in the way. I'll be back late tonight. Aunt Marta? Yes? I wonder if I could have a little money. Again? What did you do with what I gave you yesterday? Uh, I got a new brake for my bicycle. And what did you use this for? Well, uh, Sunday today. And I'd like to go to the pool. And maybe afterwards take in a movie. Here, a thousand lira. It's not enough? You'll have to get by on that anyway. Ciao. Ciao. doing here? I was looking for you. For me? Yes. I wanted to see you because I was thinking about what you said yesterday. That little iron you showed me wouldn't be much help to me. But, well, if you'll allow me, I'd like to. What's that? A letter? No, it's just a little money. Oh, no. No, really. No. I couldn't. Besides, I don't need it anymore. I mean it. Oh, but it's a loan. You'll give it back later. Don't worry about it. But when? Oh, whenever you want. After you've received the money from home. Or you'll mail it. Later. Send it whenever you like, huh? Now, really, it's no inconvenience? No. You swear? <laughs> I swear. Had you known him for a long time? Marchiori? Two weeks or so. Love him? What? What do you mean? Are you crazy? Whatever gave you that idea? I don't know. Just wondering. You're so anxious to find him. Well, what do you think? What would you do in my place? You should have seen the job I had before. I got 4,500 lira a night. With Piero Benatti's orchestra, Triccioni, the only singer in the show. This Marchiori sees me and begins to build up my stock. I'm terrific. I'm a knockout. He tells me he's a big shot in show business. I'm wasting my time singing for peasants, he says. Well... He hands me a big line. He says, I'll be a top star. Then for a week, he shows me around. Then lands out without a word. Like that. And so here I am. Come in. It's all right? Of course it is. Come right in. Thank you. You're welcome. The telephone's over there. Thank you. Go right. 
right ahead. I've thought about it. Let's skip it. It doesn't matter. What do you mean? But what if... What about your aunt? I told you, nobody will be here till 7 o'clock. Don't be afraid. Make yourself comfortable. Go on. Thank you. You're very kind. Hello, signorina. Could you get me Riccioni? What number in Riccioni? Avia Hotel. Ask for Piero Benotti. I'd like to speak to Signor Benotti. Benotti at the Avia Hotel in Riccioni. No, I don't have the number. This is 42116. Thank you very much. It isn't too much bother? No. Just say so and we'll skip those things. Of course, it means a lot to me if they don't take me back where I go. Of course, I understand. Can you speak with a deep voice? Well, I suppose so. Then try to say... Hello? Marchiori speaking. Hello? Marchiori speaking. Mm. Well... No, at first don't tell him you're Macchiori. Say you're a friend. It's more... more... Yes, I understand. Uh, only we should hurry up or it'll be too late. They play at six on Sunday evening because of the early show. All right, shall I call him? Wait, not yet. <gasps> Here's an idea. Listen now, you'll ask him if I've gone back. And so on, you know. You'll tell him I just skipped out on you. That you're all upset. And all at once, you just start to scream. Scream bloody murder. Tell him you'll see him in court. Yes, I'm gonna sue you. I've got a contract. If she doesn't come back, you'll be sorry. See what I mean? After a while, somehow, just like that, you change your tactics. Say it's too bad for the two of you to fight and so on. Then compromise. Say that if you... If you keep me, you'll give him a contract, too, to please me. See? Who do I give a contract to? Benotti. Piero. But isn't Benotti the band lead? Yes, but he's the drummer. He's the jack of all trades. And are you engaged to him? Huh? You're young, but... Well, yes, we're... Practically engaged. Practically? Well, sort of, I suppose. And do you love him? Well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. For example, right now I do. But sometimes I want to tear his eyes out. He's selfish and jealous and grouchy. He's a big egotist. He thinks women are just good for washing dishes and socks. As a musician, he's not much to brag about either. I rated the contract, but he didn't. So he tried to sabotage me all he could, gave me a bad time. It's stupid. If I'd got to the top, I'd have pushed him. He couldn't understand. And with this Macchiotti, it's the same thing. Except that it didn't work out. But you should have seen how he carried on. Such scenes. He said, you simply can't mix marriage and art. Hello? Yes? That's right. Who is it? Hello? Yes? Who is it? The woman at the switchboard. Excuse me. Hello, Hotel Avia? Who's speaking, please? Oh. Hello. How are you? Speak to him. Go on. Who? Me? Tell him that you're Marjorie. I'm your friend and a friend of Aida. Oh, Where is Aida? I bet she's there. This is Marjorie. She walked out on me. You can't do that. I'm going to sue you. No, no. Listen now. I'm ready to give you a contract, too. Oh, no. No, no. What do you mean I'm not Marjorie? But who else could I be? What's she say? What's he saying? What's he saying? Tonight with your police, you'll let it happen. And she's already been replaced. And she can go jump in the lake. And you can jump with her for all I can.
Quizá un gápanas. Piero, Piero, please, but operator. Instead of fixing things, that simply lost them up. One leaves me stranded, the other turns me down. It's my fault, I suppose. What do you mean? You're very helpful. But anyway, now I don't owe a thing to anybody, so it's a lot better. <sighs> now I'm free. I'm my own boss. Tomorrow morning I'll really get buzzed. You just wait. Dump that hotel is the water comes in thimbleful. Do you want to take a bath? It'd be great, but where? Listen, it's not five yet. Are two hours enough? I'm dirty, but two hours. All right, fine. I'm going to get a towel and then draw your bath. Oh, huh? skip it. It's not important. Nothing to it. Just leave it to me. Don't be afraid. Come on in. But what are you doing? Tearing the whole place apart? What color bathrobe do you want? Yellow, green, or red? It doesn't matter, really. Well, it's all the same to me. Anyone you like. All right, then. Yellow. Here you are. Here. Lavender. Is this all full of linen? Yes. You're running a hospital here? <laughs> I'll show you the bathroom. It's upstairs. Mm. And to think I tried to sell you an iron. Come on, it's this way. Excuse my curiosity. Is it yours? Or do you rent it? The house, you mean? Yeah. Well, the house is ours. To be perfectly truthful about it, it's mine. My mother died, this place went to me, and my brother got the house in the country. You've got a brother. Oh, yes. Uh, smaller than I am. What a place. And here I was so afraid to borrow money from you and all. And you're filthy rich. Here you are. The bathroom is here. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to get you some slippers. <gasps> What's wrong? What? But it's black. I don't understand. It's black. What is? The bath. <laughs> yes, I know. It makes it look like an undertaker's parlor. But if you don't like it, there's my father's bathroom. The walls are clean. Oh, no. I want to use that black one. I never knew we had such things in Italy. <laughs> uh, but look, you'll find the talcum powder here. Right here. Thank you. And here, you'll find the eau de cologne. Thank you. That's it. Well, is there anything else you need? No. Just you leave. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Well, have a good bath. Thank you. Laura! 
time, though. What do you do to let the water out? Where are you? Where are you? Lorenzo. What are you doing? dancers set up housekeeping together. Me, a girl named Mirka. She still owes me money. A girl from Barry, you'd never guess her name. <laughs> Sigla Puerto Rico. And one poor chorus girl from Naples we called Champ. Why? She could only raise her leg about this high. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Give me fried eggs any day when I'm hungry. I don't ask for lobster, just eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Want some? Oh, no. What do you mean? Come on, have some. Uh, all right. Tell me something. Why do girls in show business always live together? Because with our pay, there's nothing left for food. Skipping lunch isn't so hard. We sleep till afternoon. But evenings, you can jump in the lake if you're not invited. And since everybody can't be invited to a big supper every night, we spread the risk. One of the four always finds a sucker. Mm hmm And then? And then, when he hands you the menu, you say, Oh, I'm as hungry as a bear tonight. I'll have the works. And when he's not looking, poof, in the napkin, a chicken leg, a piece of cheese, a piece of bread and butter, banana, enough for everybody. <laughs> That's the life, huh? Well, I suppose. What are you doing? Hmm? I'm just washing the dishes, because if my aunt ever found Oh, out... no, let me do that. Now, why should you? Come on, I'll do them. <laughs> Thank you. Where was I? You 
were telling about swiping supper for the others. Laughter supper. I go to bed. That's about it, I guess. When we had a nice place, we'd sleep two in a bed. But sometimes four of us would sleep in a bed. My hotel here is a palace compared to joints like that. <laughs> Tell me more. And then it was lights out, everybody. Good night. Good night. But instead, we chew the fat until three or four o'clock. What about? Oh, nothing. Stupid talk. One night, we talk about careers. Another night, it was marriage. One girl wanted to marry a violinist. And imagine, Sigro Puerto Rico, she didn't want to marry a doctor, for instance. She was afraid he'd neglect her because of his work. <laughs> and you? Who did you want to marry? Me? It all depended. But I think my favorite was... The Duke of Edinburgh. Who? That keep him quiet for a while, the Duke of Edinburgh. <laughs> when I think of it, such a wonderful life. The clothes, the clothes. And black bathrooms, too. You know, you can still change your mind. You talk to them, huh? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. How's your father? Haven't seen him for a long time. Yes, he's taking a vacation. Uh-huh. Listen, I, I was wondering if you had a room. It's for the daughter of a friend of my aunt's. I just went down to meet her at the depot, and, well, my aunt was wondering if you... Uh, do you know if it's for a long stay? Well, I'm not... I don't think so, but... I'd like a room looking out on the street if you have one. Yes, as a favor to your aunt, we'll give her a little apartment. Thank you. It's a witchy. <laughs> Over here you have television, and the restaurant is in the back. Has Senor Francia come in yet? Not yet, sir. He phoned ten minutes ago. Ah, he's always out doing something. Is there any mail for me? I'm expecting a telegram. Here you are, sir. Hmm. More than I expected. Give me my key, will you? Yes, sir. Grazia. Ah. Grazia, take a look over there, huh? Well, so long, huh? Are you going? Yes. I don't know what to say, Lorenzo. You've been so thoughtful. Oh, it's nothing. Don't you even want me to thank you? It's nothing, really. Uh, Senorita, are you going up? Coming, coming. You'll phone me, huh? Sure. When? Just a second. Oh, I don't know. Whenever you want. Goodbye. Can't you tell me when? Tonight. Ciao. Since when have you started studying at night? I haven't had a chance to finish yet. No wonder. In the daytime, you're always out. Or sitting there daydreaming. Got much more to do? Mm. No, I'm almost finished. 
Near. Give this to Dummy Trona. And try to finish quickly. And when you go to bed, don't leave the light on. No, I won't. Good night. Good night. Will you leave me alone, you big slob? Hello, Aida. It's me. I couldn't phone before. I was with my aunt. How do you feel? Fine. I got a soft bed. What else? Let me see. Big wardrobe and a dresser, a table, lots of light, and a bathroom. I had a wonderful bath. Another bath? Why, sure. Same price. Why do without it? And besides, I was bored. Didn't you look at television? No. Why not? Because I went downstairs, but then I came back and went to bed. You didn't have supper then? No. Why not? I didn't have a thing to put on. I felt like a tramp. I looked in the restaurant and saw all those women in light dresses. They would have laughed at me. What would you have done? Do you mean you don't have a... No, I don't. But you must be hungry. Have them bring you something. No, I don't feel well. It's not serious. I'll feel better in the morning. It isn't the first time I've gone without dinner. That's really too bad. Not just about the dinner. I mean everything. Good night. Good night. for you, Signorina. A package? Come in. The door's locked. Oh. Just a minute, please. Come in. Where will I put it, Signorina? There. Answer it. Hello? What do you mean, crazy? What for? Well, I just took the first thing they showed me, that's all. When are you going to try it on? Yes? What's that? Me? Tonight? Oh, I really don't see how I can. Don't get me wrong, I'd be very glad to come over, but what about my aunt? Oh, cut it out, will you? Stop teasing. Say goodbye for now. I'll try. 
try to make it. 